Welcome to the Path to vSphere Unleashed, a VMware production. First, I want to go ahead and walk through the phases of migrating to vSphere 4 that we'll be covering in this video series. When talking about an end-to-end -end upgrade of your VMware infrastructure, we can break it up into three distinct phases, coupled with additional activities as related to licensing. Phase 1 is pretty much everything management layer related. This includes vCenter and its related support components, database, license server. Also included in this category, any of the server-side plugins such as Capacity Planner, Converter Enterprise, and Update Manager, as well as the bundled applications such as Orchestrator. Phase 2 is all related to the compute layer, or more specifically, ESX migration methods. Phase 3 takes us to the virtual machine layer where VMware tools and virtual machine hardware become the primary focus. And finally we come to licensing, which realistically cannot be classified as a wholly separate phase, as there are several appropriate times during the upgrade or migration process which either all or some subset of licensing can be addressed. In order to help you understand the process of migrating or upgrading to vSphere, we have created this video series each one in discussing the four main topics you see listed here. Video 1, VMware Infrastructure Management Components, or Phase 1. Video 2, ESX Host Migration Methods, or Phase 2. Video 3, Virtual Machine Upgrades, VMware Tools and Virtual Hardware, or Phase 3. And Video 4, Implementing vSphere Licensing. Before we move on to the other videos, I want to go ahead and review the environment or infrastructure that we use throughout the entire series. We're running Virtual Center, obviously, in an off-host SQL Server with a Virtual Center database instance. Our Virtual Center is in fact running in a virtual machine. We also have Update Manager co-located on the same host as the Virtual Center server, and it points to the same SQL as Virtual Center, albeit a different instance. We have loaded the server-side applications, guided consolidation, as well as converter enterprise. For use when connecting directly to our virtual center via RDP, we have loaded the virtual center client and download and install the necessary plugins for converter and update manager. All of the aforementioned management components are virtual machines and are running in a dedicated management cluster. From a compute resource perspective, we are using two C7000 HP blade chassis. Each has 12 half-height blades and two full-height blades for a total of 24 half-height and four full-height. A total of three clusters, Compute 01, which are 12 half-heights, Compute 02, which is again 12 half-heights, and Management 01, which is four full-heights. The entire environment sand space is being provided by a Clarion CX340 carved into multiple lungs. We are running 144 VMs, including the management VMs, divided equally among RHEL 5, WinXP, SP3, and W2K3, approximately 46 each type. We hope you enjoy the video series. This concludes our introduction 